season three, episode one. Don't know what the chapter is. Um, so last time in Mandalorian, him and Grogu parted. Luke Skywalker saved the day. That was last season of Mandalorian. In Book of Boba Fett, though, <laughs> uh, Mando returned. <laughs> And Grogu returned, and Luke, and Ahsoka, and everyone else just returned. And um, Mando and Grogu have reunited. Mando got exiled. Basically, he got basically he took he admitted to his helmet being taken off in front of another person, and now he is no longer a Mandalorian by his creed standards. Which I'd argue he's more Mandalorian than than the other. Like I don't know. It's just. He's got the dark saber. He's got all like he has way more. I to, I'm so curious what this season's gonna bring. So, yeah. But I'm curious like if because I really wish we had more time away from Grogu. I will admit that that felt really rushed. Three. I hate when reunions happen so fast. That is a thing that I re, that is a pet peeve of mine. It's like if characters are separated, I want to feel that separation. I want to. I want to cheer when that reunion happens, because it's like Doctor Who. If reunions ever happen in Doctor Who, it is awesome because so much time has passed between the events. It is still like man, and even and yeah, and it's not like reunions, permanent reunions. It's like reunions for just the episode. But yeah, this is a reunion, and it's back to. Well, now it's like, what do what do Mando and Grogu do? I mean, Mando's exiled, but Grogu is also like his. What's Grogu? What's Grogu's plan? Is to just live out the rest of Mando's days, which is gonna be. I feel like like I have this theory that maybe this is gonna be the Yodelorian. This is this is Grogu becoming the the Mandalorian Jedi, the next one or something. Maybe that could happen. I mean, just because Grogu lives the next, you know. 50, like, whatever, how many years of Mando's alive doesn't mean he can't go back and become a Jedi at, like, you know, I mean, of course, he still has to, you know, grow and learn, but we'll see. It's interesting. There's a lot of possibilities with Grogu, and I'm curious where, because this is kind of like Grogu's origin story. So where does he go from here? Where did him and Mando go? What is, and what does Mando do? So yeah, I'm, I'm curious. So, yeah. Are you ready? Let's begin. I'd like to formally apologize that I did not record the first part of this episode because I just was not paying attention to my- I just pressed pause real quick and then undid- forgot to unpause. So the entire gator battle was missed, which was actually- dang! Dang, I wanted to- mmm, I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. I really actually wanted to kinda see my reaction to that. Man! Okay, so a big gator battle. Some Mandalorian ki- oh man. That was- that was really epic. I mean, it was also entirely like, what is happening? <laughs> but also, that was really epic. Um... Okay, but we're back here. He's found that there is crystal on Mandalore. There's a way back. There's maybe he can go to Mandalore and redeem himself. Met the armor again. So, yeah, that's where we are. And we're going back to Mandalore. I'm sure that's good Grogu staring into the hyperspace. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard things about staring into the hyperspace. That's so cool though, just the beauty of it. <gasps> oh, it's one of the whales! Ezra? Or are you just a whale, but still. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. That is that is seriously epic, huh? So he has a way in and out. That's cool, like a little staircase or something. Mm 
I love I love that ship. That's so cool. I love miss the I miss the Razor Crest, but I really need to cool that we have a something Naboo. Here to meet an old friend. Is this the um Grief Cargo planet? Is this like the first planet we're gonna start on or is it looks wow, it's it's gotten some green on it now. It's way more civilized. It was full of scum and villainy like not that long ago. That's, oh yeah, he's got a new little uh thingy. Little little cart, which is interesting. Hmm. Quirky monkey lizards. I guess no more cooking them. Indeed. Man, this is... It's its almost too peaceful, but it's... Oh! There's a statue. That's cool. The name of a... It's IG-11, I think. <laughs> hmm. Mando. Grief. What's that droid? I think carrying his cape or something. Magister. Hi, Magister. Interesting. How long? He does, he has a little droids carrying his cape. <laughs> oh, he's spinning. I recognize the actor just off his voice, but I don't know who it is. For murder and mayhem inside these doors. Sounds like you went soft. You think so? It's my name. Croaker's like, mm. <laughs> Oh, I... Are they gonna go for it? Tell that to the little shark that Navarro is no longer friendly to pirates. Now get out of here. Dang. Message received? No. Under my watch, Navarro will become the first truly independent trader to win this entire sector. Independent? I can't serve as your marshal. I have something pressing to attend to. 
Apologies. I didn't know you were here on business. What can we provide? I need him back. What? IG-11 was destroyed on the lava river. This is just a statue. These are his parts, are they not? Got it. I mean, what's left of them? In the lava? We were lucky to recover any of his parts after he self-destructed. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore Mandalore. What? And he's that droid. Are you? What? We've got plenty of droids around here. We'll find the one. I, I don't. Let me give it a shot. Okay. But really? This? This? <laughs> okay, just <laughs> that looks weird. How the heck is he even still a pe? I thought the whole point of self destruct was to prevent anything from coming back. This is gonna be weird. I blew myself up and yet I did not die. Grogu. Oh. Got something. This droid just cannot die. It gets shot in the head, then it gets blown to bits. How the heck? It's immortal. Uh oh. Nope. Maybe this one isn't the right one. Dang it. Yeesh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we made it just... Wait, the dark saber. The dark saber. Good, good draw, good protocol to Well, that didn't work. Well, it's too big a job for you to do by yourself. Fortunately, the Baru has attracted the best droid smiths of the outer rim. They'll have IG back to his old self in no time. Old self or? I don't think I can handle him with all his limbs if things go scud. Why don't you ask him for yourself? Who? Oh. The Ancelans. <laughs> What do you want? It's it's a bobbin freak. Ah, two puppets. Oh. Okay, this is cute. No, bro, it's broken. No oh my gosh, Mando's really in there. I got that. Got it, Green. Can you fix it without the memory circuit? Yeah, but I don't. Yep, I'm What? What if I find you the part? Okay, now, then no problem. You can get a new part, he says he can fix it. No! 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 No Grogu. It's like horror. Okay. So we're off to get a part if I see you soon. Keep IG eleven safe until I get back with that part. If the Anzellans can't find it, I don't know who can. Big troubles. Okay. Well, this is an interesting new quest. So we're teaching Grogu how to mandolin or fly. By looking at your fuel gauge. And this 
has enemies on it. Starfighter battle. Oh, more. Ooh, that is hugging that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is... Hmm. Oh, do we lose him? It's behind you. Oh, that is sneaky. Come on. What is that? Wait! That is not what I think it is! Was that an eclipse? That did not. Ca that can't be an eclipse. It was like a star destroyer. It's another planet in the Mandalorian system, and that is a Mandalorian castle. Is that who I think it is? Well. How's this reunion gonna go? Entirely true. I am going to Mandalore so that I may bathe in the living waters and be forgiven for my transgressions. You are a fool. There's nothing magic about the mines of Mandalore. We supplied Beskar ore to our ancestors, and the rest is superstition. That planet has been ravaged, plundered, and poisoned. You said that the curse was a lie. Make up your mind. If you want to go to the mines, be my guest. They're beneath the Civic Center in the city of Sundari. Thank you. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. Goodbye, Dindar. Okay. 
Okay, so the first episode of, of The Mandalorian Season 3 was... It was interesting. It really felt like three episodes smashed into one. Like, a lot was basically, like, explained because of... We didn't quite get a answer or a... This is one of those things where it's like time skips and jump times. It's like you have to explain what happens in between these two events. Because how did Din and Bo-Katan part after, like, um, after what happened? Like, that all got explained, yes, but it was like, I would have liked to have seen how that had happened. And yeah, oh man, Bo, gosh, again, I've said that before, like, she, she's really, like, she's always been losing. Every time she gets, like, some sort of victory or something, she loses still a lot of things. Her family, her planet, her right to rule, like, man... She's really suffered a lot, and I'm curious what they're going to do about that. But yeah, we have her, and like, she's just kind of just, she's downtrodden right now. It's, and she's, oh man, but she wants, wants Din to lead, and he's, he's still on his quest to forget, it is, I, man, I really want them to discuss their, like, their, everything about i want i really don't know what's gonna happen like if he forgives himself if he what is his plan is his plan really just to go back to the norm go back to his people and then grogu i guess i guess grogu is just now a mandalore he's it's just part of his group now so yeah interesting first episode but at least we now kind of know what the goal is of this season. So I'm excited, or I'm curious, I'm curious because I don't feel like that's the end goal. I feel like that's the goal, that's almost like the next episode, literally. So what do we do after that? What happens after he does what he plans to do? So, yeah. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you there in the next episode. Bye-bye.